Hello everyone, Trippin Master here, and welcome to the League of Legends Season 3 in 2021. This is Round 9 and Round 10. I hope you guys are enjoying the season so far. If you've seen the previous ones, if you haven't, feel free to check those out in the playlist in the uh, link down below. And uh, and also, feel free to check out the rest of the races as well after this one if you wanted to look back as well. So anyways, as you're seeing right here, I'm going to actually show ahead and show you guys this current standings in the championship as it sits right now. Currently, I am sitting in the lead of the championship right now with a 52-point gap. But that is actually pretty deceiving because um, two guys that are right behind me right now and the guy in fourth also have done their dropped rounds. When this part of the season, we're going to have drop rounds coming into the play. You get four of them throughout the season. So it's like if you're like have four bad rate, your four worst scores get dropped. So like if you have a really bad race or whatever, you won't necessarily have count against you. But at the same time, it wouldn't be a good thing to have that if you like you've had multiple bad races. If you've had like five bad races and you're kind of out of luck. But it's not the end of the world if that were to happen. But for me... It's, it actually would be kind of a hindrance in this case because I actually got a very substantial lead with that as the standings is right now and it's actually really good where I'm sitting. But since I have this big gap, I actually could possibly open up this championship a little wider for later for later on into the into the championship for next for next rounds like this one and for future rounds as well to make it so that uh, I could possibly not i make it i can't be caught so it's basically everybody is going to be playing catch up to the amount of points that i have while i'm just going to be sitting still when i have drop rounds being made into play so with that in mind we're going to go ahead and talk about this race here is this was actually a pretty good one all things considered what my cart was in the qualifying i actually kind of noticed my cart felt okay in terms of just cornering so i was like you know what? i'm just gonna stick this cart out but i didn't realize it until like after the start of this race it the cart was really underpowered and it was it was very like not of like almost super obnoxious standard power i just couldn't have anybody for reference to check for that and you guys will see that on the start for this race you'll see that i've been having just through defensive drives and do everything but yeah i hope you guys do enjoy and here's the start here i hope you guys do enjoy this uh as well i'll talk to you guys at the end of this one and going into the next race as well and i hope you guys do enjoy
Yeah, as you guys can see, that was actually not too bad of a race, all things considered. As you saw, my cart was very far down on straight line speed. But that was not even the the, uh, the big highlight of the race, as uh, you guys saw that I did a full 360 in an accident and still got away pretty much scot free. Uh, thank goodness I did, because as you guys will see in the results here, as um, if we hear, we uh, I actually finished up when first in the standings in that race, even despite that spin. And it was, and it was a good thing that I, I was able to get away pretty much scot free from that incident without having to like you know wait for cars or things like that. Because uh, the driver right behind me was the second place leader in the heavy. I was um, down on straight line speed too, so I was like, oh gosh, I hope you don't catch, catch me just in time. But luckily, he did not. It was really good. Overall, that means it's one more win to myself under the championship, which means I stretch that lead even further, which is great news for the championship, and I'm happy with that. And yeah, overall, very well excited with everything. And... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, and now we're going to talk about round 10 for a little bit. In round 10, it was an interesting one. So, like, we, I had a different cart than the last race, which was good. And the cart that was named was uh, cart number 60, which, um, interesting enough, I had my buddy uh, Steve, and you guys know Steve and Dave. He was, running in, he was running in this race as well in the Speedy Light class. He was in the lower pack, and he was right behind, actually, cart number 60, which I will be driving in this next race in round 10. And he was saying that the cart was actually really nice and well planted versus him. And Steven was actually had a better lap time than I did going into into this one. As you guys can, as you can see, when I go over to, to the um, footage here, I'm starting way higher up because it wasn't just a better cart. It was a great cart. It was stick everywhere. It had straight line speed. My only complaint with that cart was that it had um, a very long travel on the gas throttle. So you had to like push your foot nearly to the front bumper just to get it full throttle but that's the only complaint with that cart that I had for that night. That great straight line speed, great cornering, great braking. It was there was nothing really to complain about in terms of just actual cart performance. And I was actually really excited for this. And it set me up pretty well. I was starting a P3 overall in the rentals, but I'm definitely in the lead of the uh, of the heavy field by probably quite a margin in terms of positionings. And yeah, it turns out very good. Hope you guys do enjoy. We're actually going to go ahead and show you round 10 here. It was quite a good one. I actually did get to see, watch these guys right in front of me, the leaders in the um, the uh, rental lights actually go at it for a bit. And yeah, it was it was uh, pretty good. Hope you guys do enjoy this one. And uh, I'll catch you guys at the end of this round.
as you guys can see, that was actually a really good race. I was overall really happy with the result, and it was a very good one I got as I was getting to watch the, uh, the rental lights go at it. Dylan and Jason were, were neck and neck for a good chunk of that, and as you can see here with the results in the rental heavy for me, I won the race with about a 24, nearly 20, like 24 and a half second gap to the person behind. It was a really good race for me, quite dominant actually. Compared to, compared to the rest of the field, I was actually a second a lot quicker than the guy in second, and then a further, maybe almost two seconds quicker than the person in P3. It was actually really good. I was overall very happy with the result. It was really challenging, and that is a really good sign for me in the championship, because now in the championship, I have 130 points, while Alex Nanigan, or Nanigan however you say that, is has 65 points. I literally have double his points tally. I'm going to double his points tally, it's a little deceiving because um, even he has four drop rounds and I do not. But it makes it so that it's possible for me to wrap up the championship in the next two rounds. Because in the next two rounds, the most for the rest of the championship, Alex Nanigan can the most that he could possibly get for the rest of the championship if he were to win everything from round eleven all the way until round sixteen to the end of the championship, he could only get a hundred and forty nine points. While I still have two races, in two races, I could very easily get over that 149 point margin. I can get 150. And, that's, and that is if he wins every single race at this point. So for, for the championship to be alive after the next two races, I, he has to finish both races. On, on He has to win both races, and I have to be under 150 points. If I'm over 150 points, I win the championship. Then and there, and around 11 and round 12. And it would be a very good way to wrap it up. Wrap it up two, three weeks early. It would be really great. But it would be great for that. But um, overall, I'm not too mad with everything. Very, overall, very happy with everything. I hope you guys do enjoy this. This was a lot of fun. Probably one of my... It was on par with my best weekend of the, of the entire season. It was great. And I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Feel free to leave a like if you did. If you guys did not, you guys know what to do. It's pretty simple. It's YouTube. And yeah. Feel free to do that, and I'll have a playlist if you want to check out more of these later. And, yeah, I hope to see you guys later, and I'll see you guys in the next race. Catch you later.